Hello guys, it's Craftbench and this is episode 2 of my Hypermind series. We are here in a cave just a bit away from our uh, base and... It's a weird block breaking sound. Anyway, um, and we're down here near the skeleton spawner I found to make a farm. And I'm actually recording this while I'm editing the video because the beginning of the video I messed up. So if we go like this, you can see here that I'm actually more advanced in this video than... Uh, I should be because you'll find out why I've got that second advanced that second building there in the next episode but I'm just recording this now and this is where the farm is down here and this episode is going to be me making it and then I'll come back near the end of the video to give you a brief summary of what's happened so enjoy the video guys unfortunately for the spawners sake all of the cobble had been <laughs> all of the mossy had been taken and a creeper's coming I do not want you to come here Oh, that's not real diamonds, it's that big diamond thing. I'm just going to light up this so that we don't have to worry about it. Oh my word! Okay. Okay, because there's not much any spawn placing in spawn places in this uh, in this cave. That's, they're just spawning wherever they can, I suppose. There's something down there. There's a bit up there. Okay, so I'm just gonna. Okay, so here's the spawner. Yeah. So all the chests have been raided and taken. All the mossy stone be taken. It was just a room with the spawner in lit up. So what I've done off camera is I've just cut out the room, and I'll just quickly explain the room to you, just in case you don't already know about spawning techniques. What this this spawner is normally off center and you normally have to make an eight by eight room with one wall being three two walls being three up away from it and the other two being four. But I wanted a odd number, so one of the three wide are four wide, so I have one sort of slice of the room which won't be spawning, but I won't I just make sure the water crunch are working. I prefer that. So um, here I have my one two three and my, my, my other three is this side and how you can figure out which sides you've got to make four and four is by if you look at the coordinates on the on my minimap on the left you look at to make sure they're both going down so we can see that the plus one is going down to 87 and the oh whoops sorry this guys The plus one is going down to 87, and the other one's going down to 1,000, 10,030, 29. So that needs to be four in this direction, and that needs to be four in this direction. And then that could be three, and that could be three. But I've made this four, like I said, to make sure the water currents work properly. So what I'm going to do is just go grab some water and put the water currents in, and we'll be back. Okay, so I'm back guys, and I've cleaned out this room which I want all the mobs to come to, that come to. This isn't the main final room, this is just a quick sort of mock-up design I've got. And what I want to do is, the mob spawner is here, and we need to take the mobs at least 10 blocks away from the spawner. So, one, two, three, and we've also got the coming down ones and stuff, but we can go like one distance wide to make sure we easily go 10 blocks one two three four five six they will come up here i think seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so i want to put them on this block here but not here but in the wall and i want them to land here and what i'm going to do is they're going to land here and i'm going to have a a like a burning process so they're at one hit so i can just sit here and hit them and then I might have them go over here if I want just to sort of instantly kill them and collect their items. But we can do that for later because so at the moment I just want to uh, XP grind them. So I'm going to put the water in now and do a few of the other things so we can sort of see how everything's coming along. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to speed this up for you because I sort of want you guys to see it but... I'm pretty sure you guys know how to make a spawner by now, but if you're curious, this won't be up. 
So I'll see you in a second, guys. So now what I'm going to do, I think, all this water in is just make a motivator to take them over to that other place. So that's just me digging out all the cold stones. So there's no point in me showing you me doing that. So I'm just going to do that and I'll be back. Okay, so I've now hooked it all up so they come. They'll fall in here. They'll come along here and they'll go up here. We can see some glass here. They'll go up. There's some more glass here. They'll go around and they drop down here. And that's enough height so they'll take half heart damage by hitting here. And then what I do is I'll quickly burn them with some lava. And then once they finish burning, they'll be left at half a heart. And I can just one hit them. And this saves me having to have a really like tall long drop in it, like looking sticking out of the ground, looking ugly. So I'm just gonna quickly show you what happens to the mobs. So as we see on the skeleton that's spawned in, and I'm just bobbing up and down. I come into the centre bit here and push around all my mates, and then get pulled up here, and then get pushed along here, and then we've got some funny water currents here to continue the current. There's probably a more efficient way, but it's the way I've done it. Come along here and then fall down, get cool, get hurt by half heart, there'll be two bits of glass here, everyone will stack on and then I'll have a button here that will do now that I push and that will activate a um, a burner and a stopper so no more mobs can come in and uh, yeah so I'm going to quickly install that and show you it and then that will be the video. Okay so I'm back and I've got a, a quite a nice design uh, I just need to border this. And um, that's where this and then. This is all going to be changed up uh, with a different type of block, wooden blocks, to be precise. Uh, then to there. So that's going to go up there like that. This is just so to help me give like a, an idea of what's going on. Um, Another button there with a sign saying burn and then what we're going to do is to the side here we're going to take out two blocks all of the same from wherever these are that's all mine these I bet you can't mine them with a normal pick I know you can uh, just put a torch in there and then we're going to have one bit of redstone and one repeater. Um, here. How do I keep getting oh, actually leather? That's fine. A bit of gravel and that change to three. And then here we're going to change this block to a dispenser. And then if we click this, it should pulse. Like that. So if we put a bucket in, which we'll put water in for now, but we will be using lava. Yep, so that's fine. And then we'll have glass here. And then over here we're gonna have mm, we're gonna have a lever. Okay, I need to go and get uh, some stuff, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've finished installing all of this now so here we have the burn thing and then here we have the up equals they can come in and the down equals they mean they can't and I have a piston up there and here I've got some redstone wiring simply to invert the signal and get it up to there and if we pull this down it will stop off the water so if we put the water back in there as we can see here it stops the water and if we say up if we go it will let the mobs fall down. So now all we need to do is get some lava and put it in there and we can test it. Okay guys, so I've done a whole load of stuff since I stopped the recording last. I was sort of going to a, uh, a building frenzy and just sort of did a bunch. Um, this whole area needs tidying up still, but I'll probably do that um, between episodes or something. So here we've got the mobs that come and they'll come up here eventually. Come on. When you want a demonstration. Come on guys. Okay, well you know what happens. It comes up here, 
They come along there and then they come down here. And we've got this up and go thing. And if we want to stop them there, that will bring out a piston, which if we just sort of fly up here. I'm just going to take my jetpack off. Oh, we don't need to look in there because that's stuff for the future episode. And that obviously stops water there, so they just clog up. And then they clog up there so far back that they'll actually, the spawn will stop because it's got too many of in its radius. So it's kind of like a stop switch as well for the spawner, but I am going to add a stop switch that lights up the spawner. And then what we can do is we can push this button here, which burns them. It's quite loud, so we're going to come over here and just explain it a bit more. So because they've taken half heart damage and that burning puts them to half heart damage, so when we hit them, it uh, kills them instantly. And then here we've just got a little enchanting shop, and I've been enchanting a few books and stuff, like we've got Fortune 2 there. Vorpal, Unbreaking 3, Blast Protection, some power. Um, I reckon we put this power one on this bow now. Oh, you need an anvil, yeah, sorry. Okay, so we're going to have to put an anvil. Wait, we don't need that. So, yes, and then we come over here and just get these once. And we should better see them clogging up here. And then we're going to stay here and get some levels. Just get rid of this guy, and then 24, and then just do that to let them all come back. Like so. And I reckon we'll do a, uh, a level 24 enchantment, and then we'll call that an episode. So, I'm just going to get rid of this. Have we got anything I can... Yes, this. Um. Twenty-four. Okay, hold on. Just see if we can get anything else that we can. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why activating the thing is going to change it, but. I feel like it would, so 26. Here we go. This should be 24. Okay. Take that and see what we get. Power 3. That Oh, that'd be good for a bow. So we'll just keep that in there. And oh, I'll just keep those there for now. And, um, yeah, I'm not going to... Oh, how comes this go? Hmm. What's wrong with it up here? Let's have a look. Seems to be a bit of a weird glitch going on here, if I just... I can't fix it either, because I don't have the right tools. Um, well, when I leave the area, it will uh, reload. So, um, probably in like the fourth episode or so, I'll t tidy this up and put the... just the AFK killing straight into a hopper here. Um, although I'm getting loads of arrows from this, and have the turn-off switch, and just sort of generally make this area a bit nice with the floor and stuff. So, uh, yeah, okay, I'd just like to say thank you for watching, guys, and if you enjoyed this episode, please do give it a like, as it always helps out, and I'll uh, see you in the next Hypermind video, which will be in a few days. Thanks for watching. Bye.